guys welcome back to another video with me and of course you could have uh, thought of what I'm doing here can't really see it because it's dark but bitch ass fucking crank sensor man see here's the new one that I decided to put into my vehicle nothing so put in the old one perfectly works fine so far, I've replaced the cam sensor, crank sensor, throttle positioning sensor, and then there's another one right under it. Uh, let's see, replaced uh, coil pack, spark plugs, new gas cap. The main part of all the sensors that are connected to the engine, I've done. This thing's getting on my nerves. I, I've got to admit it. Uh, if any of you have any idea if you ever had a Dodge Dakota that has a Magnum 4.7 liter, let me know down in the comment section down below what the hell this problem could be. <sighs> yeah, I got dip in. Who cares? <laughs> um, Yeah, so when I drive, pretty much going down the road, it'll pretty much hesitate here and there. After getting all the sensors done, you know, it kind of improved. But then another funny ass noise happened from the passenger side of the engine. And try to figure out what the hell that is. I know I have an exhaust manifold leak on the driver's side. Um, but yeah, it'd be really helpful if you guys do let me know what that can be. If you ever had the problem, you ever had a Dodge with a Magnum in it, just hit me up in the comment section down below. Let me know. Mm. I believe the freaking sensors. <laughs> Hold up. Come on, stay. No. Oh, this is a bitch. So getting a damn clip onto the sensor, it's pretty easy. Unfortunately, whoever had this vehicle before uh, they obviously didn't take care of it because the cam sensor, actually my bad, the crank sensor, back of the engine, where the clip goes on, that thing's completely freaking melted. So, trying to put this, uh, this thing back on, but uh, it won't click. So, you know, that, that's kind of a sucky part to it. I've been working on this thing all freaking day, going back to fourth, to AutoZone getting more and more sensors that it's possible to get rid of this freaking check engine light. Ain't happening. <laughs> it's not one thing, it's another. Oh, shit. I should have waited for a truck. At least try to get one from a dealership. That's for sure. Because this thing's pissing me off. Thing's not clicking. Huh? The thing's not clicking back on. Not clicking back on. No, um. The clip? Yeah, the clip. Why isn't it clicking back on? Is it tight on this one? Clicking on tight on that one? Oh, this one's different because this, you know, it'll clip on no problem. The old one, right here, it's all melted. All melted? Mm hmm.
Is she gonna fall off or what? Looks up, right? Yeah. So it just comes right off. Is there two wires going to that or three? Yep. This shows three. What are you guys looking at? Come that shit over there. Some beat up old dog, dude. Yep. Well, no fucking wonder. What? All your fucking wires are stuck together. No wonder it doesn't fucking work. Hmm. <laughs> Get that tire off of there. Killing. Wow. Alright, mom was like. Let me get it. Let me get a harm. Good. No. Screw Alright guys. I'm gonna have to cut the video short. Like, comment down below what exactly I said. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.